Right then, hey guys, welcome back to another video, and um, today I'll be having a look at Fishing Sim World by Dovetail. Um, I played Euro Fishing, which is the one before this, um, but I played that on console. Um, and today we will be doing some pike, and possibly also some float fishing on Grand Union Canal. So, let's get right into this. I'm going to use my pike box here. Okay. Right, here we are. So the spawn point I spawn point I'll be choosing today is this right here next to this little bridge here. And we will be fishing under there. Um and I will also possibly if things get quiet have a, a quick uh, go over there. So I'll spawn in here. So Let's choose some tackle to start off. So I'm going to come to here. Now the tackle, which I'm going to be starting off with. Um, I'll leave this here for anybody who wants to have a look, just in case we do catch some boss fish. This is the tackle kit which I will be using to start off with. I may also change bait to, if they come up and they're on the surface, um, to this. I've also got this as well. In fact, I might actually chart start with that, the spinner bait, and also the swim bait roach, um, Ben Parker, Magnum Spoon as well. So those are the choices which I'll be using to come after some pike. So I'm going to start off with this because I haven't actually tried one of these before um, for pike. So I want to give them a go. So I'm just going to underarm it over there. And drop it down to two for now. And if I feel it's a bit fast, then I will drop it down to a one speed. This needs constant retrieval for it to work. Nothing on the first cast. All right, we will go there again. I'm gonna try and get it maybe a bit further right that way this time. So of course you aren't gonna catch a fish first cast every time I'll let it sink as you can see um, I'm not sure there's like a free cast or is it? Um, the depth um, indicator just to the, uh, the left of the screen so now I'm going to do a constant retrieve across here see if I can pick up any pike or, uh, or perch well hopefully the perch will leave us alone Alright, so I think that's a little bit fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the real speed to 1. No, no, no. Check it out there. I'm going to swap the real speed to 1. Let it sink. And I'll do it constant slow along the bottom. Let's see if there's anything that wants to bite. Now it looks like there's a few swirls on the surface. So I might, I might give that a go actually, um, if they continue. There's nothing we're going to get anything on, was this like a full cast, alright. Just as it comes up, nope. Right, now it looks like there, there was a few swirls there. So it doesn't look like this will work, although I'll give this um, a good try in between videos. Um, uh, if you do want to see more of this, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and comment in the comment section down below what uh, your favourite type of fishing is and what is your favourite fish. Anyway, I've got the uh, floating one now, so check that over there. Um, keep it on one for now. I'm just going to do a constant along the top. So let's see if it does spark any interest. There's a load of carp coming up. Ooh. That was a big pike. And another one. Go on. So it's sparking some interest. And I could just use 
diver, I think it is, and maybe try. Sorry, I hit my mic there. Um, but I might try around here and kind of cast it underneath the bridge. But this is the best place that I've found um, for fishing for pike. And I've probably caught more this side by just doing the best um, cast I can straight down there and pulling it actually through um, the weeds. So I will try that again. See if we can get anything. I'm hoping to maybe catch a pike or a perch. Um, off the surface. I mean, this is only like a like a 3.4 inch or something like that. I think it was, or 4.3. Was that this, uh, the spinny thing? With um, it looks a bit like an octopus. Um, but I'm hoping that this might spike some interest from a pike, and it might take it off the surface. Now, I haven't actually caught any pike off the surface yet before, but they seem to be coming up and having a look at it quite a lot. Didn't look like we sparked any that time. They're up here because I can see them swirling around high up. So they're not. Uh, they're not like. You know, it is. They are up in the water. Maybe this just isn't what they want. Perch? No. Carp. I mean, carp aren't going to take it anyway. That's a big carp, you know. Might actually. Ooh. I'm telling you, that is a boss fish. That looks a lot like a boss fish. That we keep drawing up. I think we just don't have enough time. Maybe if I stood back a bit and pulled it under the. under the bridge that way, maybe. Maybe that would help because you don't don't have enough time. Because it's not normally by there; it's only right under the bridge, and he comes up and just comes up just at the wrong point. So nothing as we pull it through um, through the lead pads. Oh, never mind. Ooh, we caught a pike off the surface. First time that I have, I got 15 pound braid on, as you saw earlier. So ooh, this thing's going through the bridge. Oh, I might as well keep the tension on and try and bring back this way. This could be a trophy fish. I did see it. It, it looks big. This is the fish which um, I could see in the water. And this looks like a really, really big fish. And it's, it's going all the way down there. And I can't do anything about it because it's through the bridge. I can't even see the fish. So I'm going to try and bring it back this way still taking line. This is definitely a boss fish. Off the surface. First pike off the surface. Just by the weeds. Come on now. Come back here. Keep... We had a good strike as well, so... If this thing comes off, it's not because I had a bad strike. Come on. No, 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 no. Keep... Keep the pressure on. Let take. Oh. I can always just up the drag a bit, actually, so they can't take as much to keep the pressure on. There we go. I'm gonna drop back down to funny. It's coming back around. Never mind. It's going back over there. Oh, here we go. Oh, that is a massive pike. It is massive, and it's going back over there. No, come back this way, please. I may, ah, uh, I can't up the drag. I really, really want to up the drag so it comes back. I should have just put, like, 50 pound braid on or something so that it can't take anything, but... I mean, I haven't unlocked that yet, so I couldn't anyway. So I'm drop the drag back down to 20. Get away from those weeds. That is a massive pike. 
Come on. Come over here. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Come on, no, don't, don't be like this. There we go. Come on. So you're taking a while to tie around. So I'm definitely going to put that out there and saying this is a bot. <laughs> Flies everywhere. Come on. Come on, Pike. It's just sitting there now. Here we go. It's coming into the net. Look at that. It is massive. Now that. What is it? It's Hunter. A trophy catch. 32 pounds, 6 ounce pike. A screenshot that. 49.81 inches long. Trophy catch. Species Hunter. Well, it's just a normal bike. But. Its name is Hunter. So. First trophy bike. Also, the first fish that I've caught off the surface. And just for you guys, if you guys do want to give it a go as well, this is the setup which I've got. I've got signature base caster, the um, signature bait casting reel, quarter sub braid, 15 pound, and the pencil bait spectrum, 4 inch. Just for anybody who does want to try and do the same thing. And it was just by those lily pads over there. Just coming this side. So I will try again. See if we can catch another pike off the surface. Another thing that is very, very lively under this bridge is actually um, waggler fishing as well. Um, with like a maggot or something. Or chop worm works well. Um, like chop worm works really well. You, you see them all coming up and having a look. All the carp. The carp aren't going to take it. Will a pike be interested and come up and have a look? The tench, but the tench isn't going to take it. No, the tench isn't going to take it. It's not a predator. No, okay. In fact, I had a pike and it was just about coming out by there. I'm at the trophy pike earlier when I was playing today. And it, it was just... I'm actually going to throw it just over there. By that, um fish boiled um, and it was just about to come out of the water and a trophy pike just slammed it and uh, man it was amazing and it just came out of nowhere so definitely recommend this place um, it's not DLC either so fishing for pike definitely under this bridge, the, the little the little bridge by the edge of the map. It's probably my favourite uh, place to fish, other than Gigantica, um, in this game at the moment. So it looks like we may have died down a bit after catching that trophy, which is which is fine. It's completely fine. So what I'm going to do, although the coming up, I'm actually going to swap to my float fishing rig. I'm going to change this. I'm going to use size 20 loaded waggler. And I'm going to start off with a uh, maggot for now. Just standard red maggot. Um, so this is better for kind of like shallow shallow angler and I know they're they're very shallow at the moment. So it's a it's a clear float. So let's see if we can catch anything on it. Should be fairly quick because they're high in the water. See them boiling around the float. Swirling around 
Here we go. Four strike Alec the Carp. Even better. Here we go. Lovely. Mirror Carp. Nine pound. Very nice. I'm going to have another cast. I'll have a couple more casts and then I'll see if we can go bike f back for those uh, those pike and those perch. And um, if they're still up in the water. Oh, another carp. Uh, I only have... Um, Seven pound fluorocarbons. Might change to ten pound guru, being as that one just snapped me off. Just pop that down there. There we go. So I've got more cast, and then I'll go back after those pike, which is what this uh, this video is going to be. Most hit my mic again. Then I'm sorry. Uh, and this. Uh, this video will be more centered around um, catching pike than um, anything else. Set this to 20 drag, let, let the tench take, there we go. So this is a tench, see in the water. Looks like quite a small tench though. Bring it in, there we go. Six pound, which is actually pretty decent. So, I'm going back to the pike, and this is probably the most successful bait I have had for pike. I've caught a lot of trophy fish on this. Um, some over here and some under there. So I'm actually going to, being as I was dead a second ago, um, and I've just caught a couple of fish out of there as well. A couple more fish. I'm going to give it a couple of chucks for here. Let it sink down. There we go. And I'm just going to put it on two. I'm actually doing... Um, stop and stop and go. But it, it registers as constant slow. And I'm sure you can see the icon sort of... Uh, starts and goes, you know, stops and goes, but um, it is like that. If you do it for like a couple of seconds, just coming straight, then it registers as constant slow or constant. So, anything at all? Nope, nothing this time. I'm actually going to go overhead and just whoop, drop it over there, just the other side of the pads. There we go, just the other side of the lily pads. Just bringing it back. Slowly but slowly. Just keep bringing it back. I'm sure there's going to be hungry pike just around here. Just waiting for dinner to come past. And this is it. This one has a hook in it. Come on. I'm sure there's one around here. Surely. No. Nope, nope, there isn't one. So, I have a couple more casts here. And if um, I don't get a. I just realised that's a bad idea. Um, and if I don't get a 
Oh look, then I will um, swap back to the float and um, I'll do a bit more float fishing um, before I end the video. So, I'm going to let this sink. There we go. Come on. There we go. Got one of this a perch. Ah, oh, it's a little perch. Well, it's still a fish. Three pound. Well, it's not bad for a perch. Three pound isn't bad at all. Sticking back in. I mean, this is a like a six inch lure, so I wouldn't have thought that it, they'd actually be able to just you know get this thing in its mouth. But uh, I stand corrected. So I'll do the same thing. And hopefully, this time we'll pick up a pike. Come on. Around those lilies, I really do expect them to to bite around those lilies just yep there we go it's another perch and it's going nuts two pound six ounces this time smaller one but not too bad nonetheless not that bad and I have another cast and uh, if I just come through with another perch I might try from the other side I'll go around the bridge again Um, around the other side of the bridge, and I'll see you. Oh, ooh, perfect strike! Ah, it's a pike. I saw it there, and it, it's going down there again. Come on now. It's a little pike. It's not a big one. It's still a pike. There we go. Let's take, let's take the line. We go. I mean, I got the 15 pound braid on this, so it shouldn't be like that that easy to snap. So snapping isn't an issue. Like if I use the 20 pound, then there really won't be at all. So we got 9 pound 11 ounce pike. Lovely fish. We'll stick him back. Let's see if we can get a bigger one. Sure we can. So happy that we caught that trophy fish off the surface. I didn't even think that I'd get one off the surface. Like I really didn't think that we'd get one. So I've tried a lot before the catching off the surface. But then again I had only bought that lure just just before I started the video with my um with my tackle points. Um so you know, it's it's not that I've been trying with that one, I've been trying with the default. Which is probably why I haven't caught and I mean I chose that one um, just because it looked a bit like a perch to be honest and I thought well I mean surely they're going to eat a little perch uh, especially as there's a lot of perch around in this lake as well um, so I, I thought I'd go for that one and there's also the roach which I have as well but I mean that's a sinking one as well so can we get anything else? Alright, we'll have one more cast. And then I'll see if I can get a couple of fish. A couple of carp or or some uh, some tench on the float just before we end the video. Just so we have a nice bit of variety in this video today. 
is to show off all the different techniques. Other than the big fish fishing, which we'll, we'll either cover that in another video this week or next week. Um, as for cold waters, um, I haven't got more footage yet, um, but that should be up sometime within uh, this week or next week. So, we have not got any there. In fact, I think I am going to go Wangler style with this, but I am going to use the size 20 canal Wangler, and I'm going to use... I'm going to try casters. I haven't tried casters yet. I forgot to swap. Hang on, I dipped out a bit. Ah. Uh, but I, um, I kind of want to try them. Just to see what they're like. I mean, I'm guessing they're going to be pretty good. Let's see. If we can get a fish. A couple of, uh, hopefully, carp. Just before we end the video. There we go. Got a fish. Wait, what? You saw that I hooked that, right? That wasn't just me that I had a fish on then. And it didn't register. That is so irritating. But, anyway. Wait, what? What does it mean by an X? There's a thread of X. Uh, okay, that that's weird. That is really weird. I've, I've had that happen to me before. But, you know. Come on. Sure we can have another one. Ah, there we go. Poor strike. Gotta be careful with this one. No, 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 no. Take, 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 take. We've got 10 pound line on, so... I'm just gonna put it on a drag of 15 so that we can't lose this. Uh, maybe we can, maybe we can. Tighten it up. Oh, look at that pike. He's back. Here we go. 12 pound, 5 ounces. Let's go for one more. Is that pike still there? No. Alright. We'll go for one more fish. A little bit further than I wanted it. Oops. My float just did a backflip over the lily pads. Well, it didn't tangle somehow, so I guess that's not in the game yet. Perfect strike. Another carp, by the look of that. Let it take the line. Put it on 20. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Let it take the line. Put it on 15. Tighten it. Tighten the drag. I don't want him taking so good. Tighten the tension and loosen it. Ah. Here we go. That is a absolute beaut of a fish to end on. We have a common carp at just over £10. So it's £10, 5 ounces. Anyway guys, that is it from me from today, for today. This has been Fishing Sim World. I hope you have all enjoyed. And let's uh, kiss this fish goodbye.